Welcome to Hair Care 101, Module 6, Hair Loss, Male Pattern Baldness, and Alopecia. What you'll learn today. The number one cause of hair loss, male and female pattern baldness, hair growth and loss, hair growth cycles, genetics, degrees of hair loss, and solutions. Male pattern baldness is the number one cause of alopecia, or hair loss in men. As suggested by its more technical name, androgenic alopecia, the condition results from certain hormones, which are collectively known as androgens, and genes that influence how hair responds to those androgens. The primary cause of hair loss in women is also a form of pattern baldness called female pattern hair loss. Most men and women are genetically predispositioned to developing pattern hair loss because they inherit genes for the trait. This form of hair loss typically occurs between the ages of 20 and 45 in the majority of people, but can occur at a very young age and may continue throughout one's life. Male pattern baldness generally starts with a receding hairline and a thinning crown, and can range from partial loss to a horseshoe-shaped area of hair remaining only at the sides and back of the head. A typical hair consists of the shaft, which is the part that you can see, and the root, which resides in the hair follicle. The hair shaft is non-living tissue and only matrix cells in a region at the root surrounding what is known as the derma papilla grow and divide, and they gradually push the elongated hair outward. The number of hairs on a person's head varies by hair type and race, but a typical range is anywhere between 100,000 and 150,000 hairs on the scalp. Each day, an average of 50 to 100 hairs fall out of the hair follicles as part of the normal growth process. Hair that is lost is continually replaced by new hair, which grows in a cycle. When the hair growth cycle is disrupted and more hairs are lost than they regenerate, thinning hair and possible baldness result. The hair growth cycle includes three phases known as the antigen, catagen, and telogen phase. The antigen phase is the longest, lasting between two and eight years. During antigen phase, the hair grows actively from matrix cells in the bulb, where the dermal papilla is nourished by blood vessels. The next phase of the growth cycle is the catagen phase. This is a short two to four week transitional period in which the hair stops growing and the lower portion of the hair follicle retracts up to the level of the erector pelli muscle. The dermal papilla is pulled until it breaks away and regresses, detaching the upper portion of the follicle from the blood supply. At this point, the hair stops growing. The last phase of the growth cycle, the telogen or resting phase, lasts two to four months while the dermal papilla is in a resting state. Following the telogen phase, the hair follicle retracts to the dermal papilla and reattaches itself and enters the antigen phase. As a new hair begins to grow, the old hair is pushed out of the follicle. Normally, about 10 to 15% of follicles are in the telogen phase. With the onset of male pattern hair loss, this number can increase to 20% or more. The shift occurs when a type of androgen hormone, dihydrotestosterone, or DHT, binds to hormone receptors on the dermal papilla of hair follicles. When DHT contacts a hormone receptor in the dermal papilla, it activates pattern hair loss by disrupting the normal growth cycle. The affected follicle spends more time than in the resting or telogen phase, has a shorter growth antigen phase, and it physically shrinks in size and diameter and fails to grow. The follicle is still alive and connected to the blood supply, but its hair producing ability is diminished. As a consequence, hair production slows, weaker and shorter hair is produced, and some follicles shut down completely. The shorter growth cycle causes more hairs to be shed than are produced, which causes balding to begin and become obvious. If hair loss is influenced by natural hormones, you may be wondering why some people are more inclined toward male pattern baldness than others. Both men and women produce androgens, and the hormone testosterone is actually a precursor to the female sex hormones estrogen and progesterone. Testosterone is converted to DHT by an enzyme known as alpha-5 reductase in the hair follicles and adrenal glands. In addition to increasing DHT levels, 
Men also have a greater number of androgen receptors in their derma papilla than women. These factors combine to make this form of hair loss more common and more severe among men. The reason the amount of hair loss is not equal among men is because those with the genetic predisposition for male pattern baldness have a greater number of androgen receptors for DHT to contact. Genetic material within each cell is stored in chromosomes. Among the 23 pairs, males have one X and one Y sex chromosome, whereas females have two X chromosomes. The androgen receptor gene resides on the X chromosome, but the genetic component of the male pattern baldness is not as simple as once believed. People once thought that if your grandfather on your mother's side was balding, you had a 50% chance of inheriting the trait. However, more recent evidence suggests that a variety of genetic and environmental factors may be involved. A person whose father is bald is also very likely to lose their hair and the genetic component for that is not completely understood. For those who are genetically predetermined to exhibit male pattern hair baldness, there is usually a progression from a receding hairline to a particular degree of balding. This process depends on where hair follicles are more susceptible to balding on an individual scalp. A tool known as the Hamilton Norwood scale helps classify the different ways male pattern baldness occur and it gives a relative measure of the degree of hair loss. Hair loss is divided into seven different categories. A full head of hair with little to no loss is signified as type one. Complete loss of hair along the front and crown where only a small ring remains around the sides and the back of the head is signified as type seven. Monate's solution to hair loss is Intense Repair Treatment, or IRT. It's an intense daily leave-in treatment that helps to stimulate the scalp and boost natural growth. The key ingredient is Capixel, which strengthens, thickens, and prevents hair loss while stimulating natural growth. Patented biomimetic, or mimics the body's natural processes, is a peptide formula. And there's higher proven results with IRT than any other leading hair loss brands and clinical results prove significant results within just 90 days. Our intense repair treatment transports to the hair follicle and the surrounding connective tissues, the skin, and it also increases hair follicle size, it improves anchoring, and inhibits the formation of DHT, which reduces chronic inflammation. You have just completed Hair Care 101, Module 6, Hair Loss, Male Pattern Baldness, and alopecia.